Many of us are familiar with the legend of Robin Hood, but for those of you who haven't been watching Doctor Who this season, here's a brief primer. He and his band of merry men, including Friar Tuck and Little John, lived in Sherwood Forest, where they'd rob from the rich and give what they stole to the poor. No one ever talks about their operating expenses, which is weird to me. Anyway, a lot of the rich people in the area, most notably Prince John, were decidedly not cool with this. So they enlisted the help of the local constabulary to stop Robin Hood, or at least cramp his magnificent singing, dancing Lincoln Green style. Today on Tabletop, Ashley Clements, Derek Mio, and Meredith Salinger are here to join me on the outskirts of Sherwood Forest, where we will find out who among us can help Robin Hood by smuggling in the most contraband while also enriching ourselves as the most crafty and corrupt Sheriff of Nottingham. Sheriff of Nottingham is a bluffing game designed by Brian Pope, Sergio Halliban, and Andre Zatz. In Nottingham, we play the perfectly legitimate entrepreneurs trying to sell our totally ordinary goods to the fine people of the region. We would never even consider smuggling contraband into the city to fuel the rebellion led by Robin Hood. That notion, good sir and or madam, as your individual gender applies, is just preposterous. Preposterous, I say. Unfortunately, the sheriff is on the lookout and he has set up his office at a border check, controlling what comes in and out of the city. But luckily for us, the sheriff's moral compass now only points to his ever-fattening coin purse. Bribing the sheriff is not only allowed, but it is completely encouraged. And it is the role-playing of this shakedown in the game that makes Sheriff of Nottingham so awesome. Every turn, the sheriff announces that Nottingham is open for business and he will be inspecting cargo coming into town. The sheriff's position is indicated by this bloated, pompous piece of cardboard right here. Now, the players will load their merchant cart, represented by these colorful bags. Each player must declare how many goods they are bringing into town and of what single type. As an example, I have got these three wedges of cheese. I'd like to sell them in town. <laughs> I certainly don't know where this crossbow came from or how it wound up in my shipment. Now, we all know that this crossbow is illegal because it's marked in red, and I certainly should not try to sell it in town, but it's worth as much as all of my cheese combined. So I'm gonna declare four cheese and try to smuggle this crossbow past the checkpoint. All the merchants now place their goods into their sleeves and they pass their bags over for inspection. Now look, I know the sheriff is very busy and has a taste for luxury, so I have included this uh, application fee of $5 to speed along the inspection process. This is very easy money to the sheriff if he just looks the other way instead of inspecting the bag for undeclared goods. What do you mean this is a bribe? This is a donation to the sheriff's re-election campaign. And we all know that campaign contributions are protected free speech in the United States of Nottingham. Thank you, Supreme Court. The players will try to use deception and bribery to get their illegal goods across the border checkpoint. And the sheriff will use intimidation and extortion to get money out of the players. Bribery versus extortion, awesome. Who will get thrown into the stocks for smuggling and who can convince the sheriff these aren't the maladroids they're looking for? Return to their business and move along? Let's find out in Sheriff of Nottingham. I'm Ashley Clements and I'm an actress best known for starring in the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. My name is Derek Mio and I'm an actor. Fans of Geek and Sundry will recognize me as playing Elliot on the original series, Spooked. My name is Meredith Salinger, and I'm an actress. I have been on Tabletop before playing Quirkle and 12 Days, and I totally won, and it was amazing, and I had the best day ever. This is Sheriff of Nottingham. Normally, the way you decide who goes first in Sheriff of Nottingham is uh, by finding out who has the most money on their person, which I actually find kind of gross. So instead of doing that, we have these really cool dice. They're like see who goes first dice. They are mathematically distributed so that they cannot tie. And they're 12-sided dice and they're awesome. So I guess we'll just roll them and whoever has the high roll will go first. 
I rolled a seven, Meredith rolled an eight, Ashley rolled a 44, oh. and Derek rolled a three. So, um, Ashley, guess what? You get to be the sheriff. Great. First, there you go. A lot of pressure being first. There's no precedent set up for how these negotiations are gonna go, you know, just gotta start sussing out how honest people are or not. So everybody go ahead and, and, and check out your hands and decide what we're going to try to get into Ooh. fabulous Nottinghamshire Townburg. Green cards. We'll go. It's a handful of them. Nothing but green cards in my hand. Yes. Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I am hoping that I can take advantage of the other player's relative inexperience with this game on the first turn to push them around a little bit. Good sheriff, for all that you do, I would like to offer you three satchels of apples oh. to keep you healthy. Um, because I care about you. Interesting, great, great declaration. Okay. Terrific, fantastic. Right. And what will you be ringing across the board, I too have Madam? three satchels of apples, but because you are a fine oh. lady, Sheriff, I shall give you some money with it. Oh, just interesting. Just say hello. Oh. Just, a, just a hello. Just a hello. Mm -hmm. little, little coin at the beginning, woman to woman, so that she can just step over me real quick and not even have to deal with it. And you, sir? Hello, Sheriff. I'm a little embarrassed to be crossing at the same time as these clearly inexperienced merchants who have never entered Nottingham before. I've known Meredith since we were kids, but of the players at this table, I know Ashley the best, and I think I can get a pretty good read on her. In an effort to speed this process along, I would like you to know that I have two chickens in my bag, and uh, I would just like to maybe speed up the application process a bit. Interesting. All right. So um, this was... Three apples. It was. Forgive me, but I forgot to oh. add a little hmm. token of my Let me, Let me just loyalty. Ugh, so ugly. Copper coins on my hands. I'm afraid your reputation isn't isn't great, and I just, um, <laughs> just I met. can't. I, I don't know what she's referring to. Derek looks suspiciously like Robin Hood in all that getup. He's wearing green, some familiar shapes. No, I've, I've been wearing those things uh, for years now. Essentially, he, he stole my fashion. Yeah. I, uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to inspect since you're, since you're new in town. I'm just gonna have to um, what, take a look at forest you're in hanging there. out in, but okay. Yeah. I've already given you one, but to make you happy and to speed it along, as he says, I will put a five. Woman it's to a, woman. It's a, it's, a, it's a better offer. It's a better offer? It is. Um, and as you say, woman to woman. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, girl power. Girls take care of girls. I will let you pass. Yay. Well, hello, Sheriff. Hello again. Hefty bribe for right out of the gate. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you misunderstood me. Uh, this is, as of course you know, a fee to help speed along my application process. Uh, what happens to this fee once it leaves my possession is certainly none of my concern. Mm. Uh, an expedition fee is, of course, a fee that is paid to someone who's looking to upgrade themselves from a Ford Focus to a Ford Expedition. Don't let me see you making any trouble. I wouldn't dream of it, Sheriff. Would not dream of it. Thank you very much. Very nice, very nice. I really hope that this is not a bag of three apples. <laughs> it is. Ha <laughs> ha! It is. But, but you may not bring these special apples into town. And therefore you may keep those and you may pay me three, which is... <laughs> which is what I was willing to pay. <laughs> but I have sure. robbed you these four points. So, uh, So do we see. show? We yeah, have? we... Huh, that's weird. I wonder how that got in there. That was not there when I, no, that is absolutely not there when I put that in. So, <laughs> so everything in your bag seems to have gone into your contraband I pile. I accidentally that's, switched oh, my two piles. Oh, that's so weird. I wonder how that happened. Mm, it was huh. such a mistake. All right, well, I guess we can go ahead and redraw some cards here. Welcome to the land of being a merchant. 
Uh, there's a new sheriff in town, everyone. I am the sheriff, and uh, your reputations have preceded yourselves. This specific group of people have been very untrustworthy, and so I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna find some contraband. I accidentally, the last town that I went to visit, I mixed up some things, and in fact, I have three apples. Just three apples. Just three apples to give to you. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this along very quickly. Mm. I've got two apples in I heard there. that about you. You like to move things along quickly. I do, quickly. I really do. I am in a, quite a bit of a hurry. Maybe I, too quickly. I have tickets to tonight's butter churning. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to see it. Uh, it's uh, at the Tavern, the Dick and Pickle. The, the butter churning concert tonight uh, is, of course, Mrs. Butter and the Worths. Listen, maybe I could just go ahead and get my ticket from you instead of having to wait in line at the door. It's just a thing to think about. And, uh, and I'll, get, I'll step back and get out of the way, let these things sp uh, speed along. You don't want good tickets, apparently, to the butter churning. I was under the impression it was general admission. I, I am but a humble baker, as, as you can see, and I am bringing four bushels of apples into town to four. make my famous apple pie, which I hope you will come and sample. A lot of apples. Four I'm just bushels. saying there's an awful lot of apples being brought across the border. That is very strange. Mm -hmm. That are is there, highly strange considering any, apples are not in season. I mean, any, I'm just uh, saying. I don't want to talk out of turn. Any, I have a guy. Any toppings to go with that apple pie? Is there any? Oh, it comes with a delicious crust. You should come come try it. It's And how much is the free. crust worth? Uh, it's worth four apples. But the four apples are in the pie, but on top, the toppings... It's just this. a crust. It's, have you had a pie before? It's just a <laughs> crust, bottom okay. top, apples in the middle. One pence for my good people. Everything I do for you, this is, this is all that you're willing to offer me. Would very much like to get out to the Dick and Pickle to get in line before this show starts. The Dick and Pickle serves whatever you want. You just have to know how to order it. Please come by for pie. <laughs> three, three apples. Three apples. With nothing. With nothing. Because it's just three I'm apples. going to inspect all of you <gasps> Ooh. for your insolence. Oh, my wow. goodness. And disrespect. Right. Four apples right. in the purple bag. No, no, three. Three apples in the three purple apples. bag. Three. Go ahead. Purple bag. There's one. There's, there's three apples. <laughs> I think I get six. I think six bucks are coming your way. Six dollars from you, from me. Six. Huh? There we go. Good sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, two apples. Two apples. Yep. There's two. That's right. <laughs> uh, I understand that some uh, really lovely two pence floor tickets have opened up for tonight's butter churning. So if you don't mind. Yes. Yes. Oh, do you need Enjoy some change? The, uh, I do. I do. Here you go. I provide the good sheriff with some churning. Yeah, you're supposed to just give him one back competitive, in chain. Competitive butter yeah, churning. He's for both Three. apples. Oh, that's right. Excuse me. I'm well, so very sorry. My mistake. Thank you thank for catching that. Uh, and you I'm have. Just saying that I'll remember this. Should we for, ever? Where are all uh, these apples coming from? Order. I have oh, a guy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> My apple guy. Oh, dear. Wow. What is it? It's like a, like a, a lot of apples. A certain plus of apples in the land. You owe me $8. And again, please do stop by for pie. You know, I. Took quite a hit, but I think I can get through this. Hello, Sheriff. Yeah, hello. I'm sure I'm sure that you're aware of all the apples that recently came into town. There's so many apples. Right, and I'll tell you what goes really well with apples. Delicious cheese. That is true. Right, and uh, I have brought with me today four cheeses. Four cheeses. To go with the glut that of is apples. A, a lot that's of cheese. Recently, that's a lot of cheese. I know it is, it is a lot of cheese. I also have brought cheese to bake into the crust huh. of my oh, that's odd. apple pie, but only three, a, a much more plausible number of cheese. It is more plausible. Right, and you, kind sir. I've also given you three cheeses. You too have three cheeses. Oh, Jesus. But unlike them, I'm gonna offer you a little something. It feels as though that is a bribe to not check your bag. If that's I have to how say, you, it looks like a bribe to me if too. If that's how you I mean, feel. Really cool, I've seen bribes before. It, it, you, it yeah, you've given them before. Good. I don't as, know what you're as talking about. As an honest about. merchant who would only ever bring in cheese, it seems a little suspicious. To bribe on simply a three. Simply three cheeses. cheeses. So I'm not awful. gonna accept your five. We're gonna check that in a second. Guys, trust me, okay? I wouldn't lie. Scout's honor. You say there's three. Three cheese. That does seem plausible. I bake it into the crust of Almost the apple pie. Almost too plausible. Too plausible for her. Too plausible. Too plausible. Well, uh, could I 
make it two more plausible? And that's a bit suspicious that you're giving me two when- Isn't it? Hmm. Well, it is merely three cheese. Right. Pretty sure it's not three cheeses. And yet it seems like it's not. So, um. That's all you're gonna do? That's really fine. all that's worth okay. my efforts. All right, I'm gonna give those back to you. Mm. The old switcheroo. And I'm just gonna hold this right here and have a look at that in a second. And you kind ah, sir. Finally. Four cheeses. I completely realize when these obvious liars are attempting to sneak not cheese past you, claiming that cheese is in their bag, when we all know that the cheese is in fact in my bag. Correct. Right. But four is a... Four is a lot of cheese. Four is a lot of cheese. Four is a lot of cheese. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna let it slide on this one. Thanks, Sheriff. I appreciate that. that. Thank you very much. It's and always a pleasure <clears throat> to do business with it is a pleasure. with, uh, Let's keep with, this with in people mind in the with, with people who understand the ways that business works. So you said there were. I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> I believe he said there were three cheeses three in cheese. there, which we all know was ridiculous. There's three one cheeses. cheese. There's two cheese. Ah, and yet there's some mead. No one likes getting caught smuggling any type of contraband. It's uh, it's embarrassing. Hopefully I can make it up to them by providing, you know, actual goods. So he, he doesn't get these back, That's these go here. Uh, no, he does. He, he does, does he did declare cheese. So his cheese, cheese. Oh, you do get to keep the cheese that oh. you declared. You yes, go. that is Well, let's that see what you've done. True and good. One Just cheese. three cheese. Uh-oh. And two oh. mead. Oh. Couldn't remember what I put in so there. You get your, <laughs> I should have bribed you more. <laughs> you get your cheese. I get to keep cheese. And I get to uh, confiscate two meads, but that's gonna cost you eight. eight. Wow. Crazy and it was a pleasure town. doing business with all Let's of you. Let's see, we've got a cheese. Oh God, oh no. And a cheese. Wait. Huh? Wait a minute, that's... Listen, you know how they say you should never leave your bags unattended? The finest mead in all of the Shire, that's Nottinghamshire for you, is of course at the Dick and Pickle. And how do you think it's gonna get there? Now Very that you strange. can be sheriff, uh, we'll see how uh, you handle this. All right, there's a new sheriff in town, everybody. And he's me, <laughs> Sheriff Tells the Truth. That's who I am. The title of Sheriff Always Tells the Truth is passed down from sheriff to sheriff and is moved through the generations in a quick, easy manner. Perhaps you've heard the term like <laughs> through a goose. Well, the truth telling of sheriffs moves through sheriffs like <laughs> through a goose. What do you have, Lady Breads a lot? Sir Brett's a lot, thank you. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Sir Brett's a lot. Sir Brett's a lot. I, I, didn't, I did not see your mustache. I apologize to you, sir. My father was Sir Brett's a lot, and, uh, and here I am, Sir Brett's a lot, the second Earl of Bread. Well, again, uh, in your bag, you claim to have three chickens. Ooh, you could so make a fine chicken pot pie. Yes, <laughs> it's very interesting to me. This bag seems awfully still for having many chickens in it. Mm. I expect movement in a bag filled with how many? Three. Three chickens. chickens, yes. That seems a bit strange to me. I wonder if somehow I could be distracted from the non-moving uh, bag. These are very shiny. Mm, if perhaps magpie tendencies. By, uh, something which glitters. Uh, hmm. He's a little biased against copper. I wonder if that's actually a, a, a dig at my hair. It's not, it wouldn't be the first time he'd, he'd disrespected the redhead. Perhaps. There's the whole some silver coin oh, inside your bag. Good choice, Sheriff, good choice. Hello, sir. Sir, your money stack seems to be rather small. Times are tough and yes. like, <laughs> All right. I would like to <laughs> greatly enjoy your localized accent, sir. Well, I did not realize that you were is, from round these parts. It is rubbing <laughs> off on me, so it's yes. rubbing off on me, and I'd like to just uh, give you some three real chickens. Yes. Not uh, fake chickens like the right. previous. Yes, mm -hmm. person before me. I don't believe this man has ever seen a chicken. I don't believe this man has ever seen anything that goes in a sack. <laughs> that is what she said, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but good sir, open up that bag and you'll see three real actual chickens. I'd rather sir. not see anything in that bag. Take it away. Hello, good lady. Hello, just three loaves of bread. Three sir. loaves of bread, eh? What type of bread is it again? It's just loaves. How sir. many breads? Just three. Just three loaves of bread, eh? Three loaves. Sir. I do enjoy eating bread. Will's very interested in what kind of bread. How many kinds of bread are there? Will has a little bit of a fetish about bread. The thing about a nice warm loaf of bread is you can put your d in it. For the sake of appearances, if perhaps a copper could land in my palm, 
and I could place it in my pocket. I and remember we could the last all be time. With these, this nasty business. Right. I remember you coming to my kingdom. Ooh. I wanted to remind Will how good I was to him when he came to visit me when I was sheriff. Do what you must. Oh! Sorry? I've just recognized you. Yes! Remember oh, me? Oh, I don't recognize you without the clown suit on. <laughs> well, very well, very Thank well. You, Go darling. across. Let's see what we have in your bag of what was it again? Three chickens. Three chickens. Let us see here. No pie for you. A chicken? A chicken? Oh. What? Oh. How, what, what is, what this is, is that? This is not, this is, is most certainly not a chicken! How, I don't know how, one of my chickens must have died and, and turned into silk. itself into silk. That's just science. Very well, I Very will have serious? to confiscate this and I will take a, f a fine of four. Uh, unfortunately four. for you, four is all copper. Oh. I would just like to show the good people. Chicken. One chicken. How honest. Chicken. I have been. Chicken. Many for future future will rounds and visits across the border from in other you, I too was honest about my bread. Yes. My bread, my bread. Oh dear. I may have miscalculated Meredith's willingness to really push the contraband when I was sheriff, especially because she would not even bribe me. That was very well played. Uh, all right, we are now halfway through the game. At the end of this round, we will award the King's Prizes to everyone who has the most and the second most uh, legit items. And then, of course, Contraband will score in its own way. I had called some people in that first round and I got, it, it came back and bit me. So I'm, I'm, I'm back in the corner. I've been living in uh, <coughs> Nottingham for about a year now, okay? and I've uh, adapted some of the local customs of yachting. <laughs> so <laughs> and bacteria. <coughs> well, once you've you've spent a lot of time in town, you know, you just you adapt to uh, how things are. I've seen some things. Yeah, I get that. I've seen chickens yeah. do things. The oh, chickens. Oh God, that sounds horrible. Should not do. Wow, okay. Uh, it looks like we've put all of our things in, our, in a bag. Put our things so. in. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, oh, did we put our things in already? Did you put your... Yes. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Don't believe I, I've this I've been one. punished. Don't believe this Innocence. Yes. She's all, oh, what is math? How do I get into the Nottingham? And she's gotten all this contraband through with her big doe eyes, and I just want to take her down. I'm so confused. I mean, I'm not confused because I, all you I do don't is know look how to at your card and you just put in what you've got. It's like, what? Yeah, what? What's right, there to be confused sure, about? Course, yeah. I'm just gonna win the Sorry. game. I don't Sorry. understand yeah. what's happening. Yeah, no, Wait, sure, I forgot sure, what yeah. I just put in actually. And I'm not pretending to be ditzy. I'm actually having a hard time with this game for some reason. Yeah, oh. I'm good now. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> so what have we what have we brought? Only thing I'm trying to get past you are four loaves of bread. Four. And I, I see that you quite bread. enjoy your bread. Wow. What else do people? Have oh, to, to I declare. have apples. Three. Three apples. Three. Well, uh, this, is, this is a little awkward. Uh, I also have three apples. Likely. So let's see, that's, uh, that's four bread. That's all that's in there, and yes, that's, that's all you shall find. Now, is this bribe light because you're incredibly broke? It's a sign of my appreciation for all you do. And if you'll remember from last round. I just round. want to. Um, oh! Ah, yeah, good call, Sheriff. Now this is three, three apples. apples, you say? Yes. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else in there. Nothing else I might find. No, but you can check. Good, okay, then I will. Unless. <laughs> I mean, you could check, that's really easy. Or I could give you something super shiny and pretty, and you could just say, you know what, move on. It's annoying. That I <laughs> <it>. Load of crap! <laughs> <clears throat> and <clears throat> anyway, do what you must. Do what you must. F that's five right there. That was five. That wasn't one. That was five that you. I just want you to know. Suspicious sheriff we have here. Anything oh you'd goodness. like to discuss with me? 
Shoot. You don't sound as good as you did the last time I was here. Well, I had a lot of medical costs. <laughs> yeah. My throat was yeah, burned in the fire that. in right. Sherwood okay. Forest. Yeah, no, I Smoke get that. Damage. I get that. I've noticed you've uh, you brought some contraband in in the past. No, 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 no. This is um, uh, holding this for a friend. This is not mine. Uh, in fact, look, we'll just put that. It's, you don't even need to look. You don't need to look there. Uh, you can just count mm. on these delicious apples in my bag. Uh, I tell you, there's a wonderful baker in town. I want to make sure she gets enough apples on account of how much I love and respect her. If she takes it, then I'm going to break even because I'll get the same amount in contraband. What I can do in the future is add even more contraband. I can go all contraband if I want to, pay the same amount, and maybe some other player will be thinking, oh, he did that when he had eight. I'll just go ahead and take this because it's better for me. You know, eight in the hand is worth something in a bag. Yeah. So I will let. <gasps> Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. What was this supposed to be? I don't know, but there's some bread in here. Four, Four bread. Four loaves of bread you'll find in well, there. Well, well, here's your bread that you may keep, and then I think you're here's gonna have here. to pay me eight for all this spicy pepper. What? Spicy pepper. What that is would that? Pepper. That would explain. That explains what why I was that? sneezing so much uh, <laughs> earlier before we got here. I don't know how that. I told you this guy. Where this guy, am I right? Well, I mean, have you looked at him? He's dressed suspiciously oh, like Look, someone no contraband. else. No. I know. He wears the same things as me. It's not me, though. It's not me. I'm sick of this. Look well, you may red. keep your Look at all that red. apples. And I'm sorry, what is this crossbow doing in here? What is that? What? Wait, wait a minute. We That's have a strict no crossbow policy Whoa. here in Nottingham. That is. Oh, yeah, I was just slipping that crossbow in with the rest of the things. I'm trying to protect my little friend Robin Hood. Well, I'll just go ahead and reach into my bag here and put my uh, entirely legitimate what? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, hmm. I'm afraid and after this disappointing outing, I will have to give up my post. Oh, uh, Sheriff, attention. go, listen, go take a rest. You've earned it. <coughs> Looks like we got There's a new sheriff in town. of course a new sheriff in town. Yes, all soup. right. You're oh, gosh go. darn right there's a new sheriff oh, in town. Oh, goodness, we've come into South Nottingham. Mm. El Paso, Nottingham. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I believe people from El Paso, Nottingham emigrated over there, and so that's where you get that. Let's see what y'all got for me. <laughs> that's for you. That's for me. I actually don't remember what I just put into my bag. Let's just check one more time. Yeah, uh, what let's are those? Check because I forgot what I let's said I was going to say. They are. Those are. I, I can't problems. remember what those it said. Those are two chickens. They're yes, just. Yes, two peppery crossbowy chickens. Just a two pair. Two chickens. Of anything else That's you'd it. like to Moving disclose? Moving on. That's all. On top. Onto of them your chickens. friend. Onto my friend to my left. Why does no one ever tip me? Hello, sheriff. How you doing? I can't help but see that you seem to have fallen on some bad times, sir. That's, that's right. And as a, as a friend to law enforcement. Uh, I have uh, three loaves of bread, and in order to just sort of like speed along the bread process, I thought that perhaps I could pay a, a tax uh, on each loaf of bread, if you would just maybe handle that with the tax collector for me, because as I said, I'm very interested in getting to my seat uh, at the butter, the butter con. Train. Yes, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Sheriff, thank you very much. I'm almost like a deadhead, but for butter, uh, my dream is to retire to the Lando Lakes. Well, I'll take that under consideration. Uh, I have... And I'll see what else I'm being offered here. Three apples. Three as apples. You, as you may have heard. Anything else? Uh, uh, apple pie? There's, you still not putting any toppings on it your gosh It is so odd how no one here seems to pie. understand how the taxes work in this town. I understand that you're very poor. I also understand that um, some people prefer silver in this Neck of the woods. Why are you giving him anything if there's actually, what is it, what's in there? Apples. How many apples? Three. Three apples. Listen, sheriffs occasionally need nice shoes. They do, in no, which I case, nice I shoes. Do. I'm letting you know to not check it. Because if you check it, you're gonna have to pay me. You don't have a lot of money to pay me. So, that's why I'm not giving you anything because there's nothing to give to bribe you. He's so, incredibly two good chickens. at math all of a sudden. Yep. Yes, all of a sudden. I'm gonna let you slide with your chickens. Thank you. Three pence. Uh, yes, one per loaf of Three bread. Three pence, one per uh, loaf. To, uh, to cover the, uh, I'm, I'm confident that you could take it to the tax collector. Even if he thinks I have contraband, I hope that I can sell it enough that I'm telling the truth so that he decides I can't risk losing half my stack on this guy telling the truth. I'm a desperate sheriff. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to go and take my chances. Well, now before you take that bag away from me, sir, maybe I could help you out. It occurs to me that 
every now and then on your way to the, to the tax collector that you might want to stop for uh, a sandwich of some sort. I hear there's a lovely apple pie bakery in town, so perhaps just let me buy you lunch. I'll buy well, you I lunch. Do like dessert. You can go I to do the- like dessert with my lunch. What I would have is a meat pie for, for lunch, and then for dessert, I'd have another meat pie, because I like pie. Fairly certain that eight coins could very well cover anything that might find itself, uh, you know, sort of around. I wouldn't mind- I've heard about you, Butter Churner, and I'm searching your satch. All right. And that really didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Uh, I will tell you that if you, if you open that- Yes. You will not benefit as much as if you take those five pence. Your pupils are dilated. <laughs> That's a sign that you're fibbing. I don't understand this math that I, I don't keep believe you. About. Wow, oh. he's checking all three. Checking wow. all three. Except oh. for yours. Oh, except for mine. So checking two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. checking two. Oh, there are apples, but one of them three is apples. contraband. Three apples. I lied not at all, not one bit. You didn't lie, but I still get to keep that. You told the technical truth. I said I had apples. All I had was apples. Some of them, for completely ridiculous reasons, are not considered legal, but they're still apples. Let's see about you, Butter Churner. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Butter Churner, I didn't you. go to medical school for oh, 15 years. What? What is this? I don't know. What? It's some apples. Slide me what? some. Oh, goodness. I don't know. What is huh, this? Burnt that's bread? Weird. What? Why would anyone bring burnt, burnt bread, bread in? That's strange. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn, damn, wow. damn, damn, damn it. Wow. Uh, why don't you open up your bag, lady? Oh. Yeah, let's see what right. you got. Put your bag oh, things me? in a bag place, yeah. Oh, well, I always tell the truth. And I said there were two chickens. And those are two chickens, people. Two chickens. I'm the All right, people. I'm the chicken. new sheriff. Put your stuff in your bags and hand it on over. I'm looking around and realizing that people don't seem to have a lot of legal goods and that I might be able to score a lot in the bonus points just by having a few of each of the legal goods. Your contraband is only worth what's printed on the contraband. You could get lucky and get like 50 points for all your contraband, but if no one's challenging you in chickens or bread or something like that, you can really easily just grab an extra 15, 20, 30, 40 bucks at the end of the game and you've never really risked anything. I can discard anything in my hand, can I not? That's true. Because I don't want this contraband. No, who ever. does? No, I don't want these apples, but I do want this chicken, and I you understand that I have to take them both. The I do understand that. Oh. So I, yeah. uh, I will be taking. So what do you need? Two more cards. I do need two more. All right. So you do have contraband that I know of in your hand. I do, but uh, only out of necessity in order to get my chickens. And you want the chicken because? Because I could be the chicken. Well, King, you actually, could be. I could be. I mean, here you are, sure. Just easy like that. Easy. What is it? Um. Hmm. Apples. How many? Apples. Three. Three apples. Three apples. Okay. Yep. Sheriff, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not have a good time the last time I came into Nottingham. Oh. I'm just bringing in some cheese in the hopes that I can squeak out of here as head cheesemonger. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's it? That's it. I have three cheeses. You have three cheeses. That's all I have. I put three cheeses. Here's my three non-cheese cards. And three cheeses. And three cheeses, and yeah. And okie dokie. And you don't feel like putting anything on top to make I that I don't easy. need to because okay. I've learned something recently. <laughs> Apparently my ability to, uh, what's the word I'm looking Bri. for? Bullshit the f out of people <gasps> has been... Uh, there's, a, there's a swearing tax. There's a swearing tax. <laughs> you gotta put one down, one down, one down. I'm around little kids a lot, so if you swear, it's a big no-no. So when Will swore, I was like, oh, this is not okay. I really can't. Oh my goodness gracious. I really you, can't. Oh, I really oh can't. God. Okay, I'm gonna have to move on from that I real really quick. I really can't. Oh. I'm putting in two chickens because um. I'm probably not playing aggressively enough. <laughs> <laughs> So you're just putting in two chickens. Yeah. You want to be the chicken king. I just want to be chicken king. Okay. That's all I want. I'm going to lose the game, but I'll have a crown made of chickens. My chicken king coronation outfit will, of course, include my crown of chickens and, uh, and my feather robes. Uh, and then I have a necklace made of chicken feet. One more time. What's in here? Two chickens. And you've got... 
I have three cheeses. You have three cheeses. Three cheeses and that is all. Three apples. You have three apples. And you have... Three cheeses. Three cheeses. And you have two chickens. I'm gonna just check yours real quick. Okay, good, I'm glad. Are you glad? I'm really glad, because I could also use the money. Mm. You could use the money? Because you have two chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very afraid to try to get any contraband through. I'm not a very good liar. And this is yours with your three, three apples. apples. And if you didn't want me to check it? I would pay you. You would pay I'd me. bribe you. I'd bribe you, yeah. So you'd like me Such to check it? ugly language. No, the no I, 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 ugly bribe talk. there's no need to check it. I will do whatever you tell me to do. If you tell me to check it, I'll check it. If you tell me not to, I will not. You should check it. I should check it? Yeah. I should check it? Because you have three apples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very generous sheriff. Um, I'm there. just saying, I, I honor my word. Here's six for you. That's Thank really you, fun. And you get to keep your apples. Absolutely. <laughs> look, look at everybody gets everything. Everybody but me. She called both of them. They were both telling her the truth. I am in a fantastic position right now. I wish I had stuffed my bag with a thousand crossbows. You're not having a good day. I'm and not... I don't, I don't want to add to that. <laughs> Will is very convincing to me. I cannot figure out if he's telling the truth or lying, and he seems so sincere. I'm believing Will. I'm believing him. This is so But if he didn't upsetting. want to check it, he'd be saying, go ahead, check it, because he'd get money from no, it. No, he's doing a good job. Whatever he's doing, he's doing, he's doing it really well. I, too, will do whatever you tell me to do. If you want me to check it, I'll check it. I don't want you to open that bag and have a bad day. Then you can go. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Or no bribe even. Thank wow. you. What'd you get Thank in there? Contraband. Please tell me contraband. 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 Look at that. I'm gonna die. Look at that. I am having oh, such contact. a good day. Oh, oh, oh my God, good... I believed everything you were saying. It was so good, especially, it was so, oh, this is the He's worst. He's the cheese king. You, that's... My heart is broken, I, I was on such a roll. I love to be the cheese king. The I cheese love being king. the cheese king. You're the cheese king. Uh, speaking of being the cheese king. Now you are the Well, king. hello everyone, welcome to Nottingland town. There's that meat it's again. It's good to see you all again. I am, of course, mm, uh, uh, I am, of course, uh, Sheriff tells the truth a lot, and I thought that perhaps it would be in everyone's best interests to speed this process along for a mere 10 bucks. A person sneaking one item of contraband in is never gonna pay $10 to me, but someone sneaking two, maybe three, very likely will, because they're still making out ahead. And I don't care because I'm gonna get 30 bucks, which is gonna be more in aggregate than whatever they all sneak through. I will let the bags go by and we can all be on our way to the tonight's delightful butter churning contest. Yes, mm -hmm. Don't even mention margarine to me. Margarine's for dicks. I uh, am very happy to say that I have four bread. Mmm. <gasps> four bread. Bread king. Seems like someone here might want me to open a bag. Mm, hello, yes. Welcome, come on. How you doing, Sheriff? I'm good. Step up, chop, chop, yep. let's go. Three cheeses. Really? Three cheeses. Really, three cheeses. Absolutely. Oh, you think that you can just come in here and be King Cheese all of a sudden? The oh, big man, no. the top cow. Sheriff, the, you the, obviously the, have the, that covered. I'm not trying to be a king the of nothing. The master. No. Really? You're not trying to take it past with maybe having one more cheese than no. someone else around here. Mm, right. And what do you have? I, too, have four cheeses. Really? I mean, I'm sorry. Did I say cheese? I meant bread. I have four breads. Sorry. No. <laughs> I only said oh, cheese. No. Oh, cheese. No. No, 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 no. I just got all excited when she said four uh, breads and then he said cheese. That's why I said cheese. But I have four, uh, I too have four breads. Uh, Look, I put my little thing on bread right there. Oh, Look, what I had hoped will, would will. be a quick, oh, King. simple, easy, quick. I want to be. Greasing the, of my palm and simple border bread. crossing has now turned into an interrogation. Sorry, sorry. I cannot believe not a single player took me up on my expedited thing. These, these guys clearly don't have TSA pre-check. I'm not gonna lie. You don't impress me much. Yeah. <laughs> There's one cheese king in this town, sir, and it's me. You shall be the you shall be the, the cheese king, sir. I could let this bag go by. But I have to somehow make it all right that I I'll will be give losing. you one of the cheeses in there. 
Really? Trading out of the bag when you're trying to bribe the sheriff can be a really great move because you don't have to honor it if you don't have in the bag what you claim to have in the bag. A lot of sheriffs will take that deal because they're thinking, great, I'm gonna get points for having whatever that item is, and now I have a chance at the king's bonus as well. I'll take a cheese and two coppers. Cheese and two coppers? Yes. Oh, Sheriff, I don't have much to work with, do I? Put it on the bag. <laughs> oh my! Are you spitting on the table, Will? Ew. Oh my! Very well, I'll take your cheese. Thank you, sir. I will not need to look in your bag. And you, madam. I want to be the bread queen. Yes. And if I have four and I right. give you two of my breads, then yes. you'll have two, and I'll still be the bread. I just yes. want to be the bread queen. Yes. That's then why right. would you give away your why bread? Why would you bring so many bread across? Yeah, just a moment, I need my thinking cup. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> oh no. I don't like the thinking cup. <laughs> the it's thinking... very frightening. No, mm. just the the thinking cup is very frightening. <laughs> His thinking cup. Must All be... right, I'll take your two breads. Right, that means I get to keep this. Yes. Right. I have four bread, I'm going to be you, bread red. king. I'm going to be bread king. Wait, you have four breads? I have four bread, I'm going to be bread king. We've come back around, you forgot you didn't play the dangerous game. But I don't game. believe that she's got four breads, Nor that's why. Do I. I'm going to be bread king. I think I can be the bread queen. You know, I hope you're lying to me. There's contraband. What are we going to do? There's contraband. I, hope, I really hope there's you're lying there's to contraband. me. There's contraband. 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 Ooh, it's heavy now. Open okay. that bag and show me contraband. Please show me contraband in that bag. Come so on. So you're checking her? Wait, I'm does this not, mean you're I'm checking not, her? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But please show me contraband. Please show me. Come on. Come on. Contraband. Yes! All right. And how many breads? Uh, very good. Four, Four breads. breads. Open your bag. Your bag is free, it's safe, it's clear. I really stood halfway through, but what was I gonna go like, no, good it's Good lord, bread. man! <laughs> I am not a good sheriff. Uh, open it's your bag, madam. Desperate times. Did I say I had bread? You did. Is that a bread? It is. Is that a bread? It is. Awesome. <laughs> no, no, you said you would give him bread. That was part there of was, your uh, bargaining. I was gonna get but two I was breads. lying. No, no that's binding. You... Oh, yeah. it is? He yes. doesn't have to give him any, what was it, cheese? There was no because cheese he has no bag. cheese. But yeah. you have bread, so you oh. owe him whatever bread you promised him. That's not what I thought. Did okay. you promise well, him two breads? It seems I that did. a life of well, crime is not bread. cut out for you, madam. Oh, that's so t upsetting. Ladies and gentlemen, <gasps> it is now time to score. How many Nottingham bucks you got without pulling any contraband through? No contraband. 171. I did bring in one contraband apple. That's true. I That's did true. bring in one contraband, but I was the king of almost all the things. You were. Except cheese. So what this teaches us, kids, is that crime didn't pay today. But it usually it, does. Sometimes. Sometimes it does. It does. I'll see you guys over on the loser's couch. I'll see if I can uh, smuggle some meat or something over there so it's not as bad yeah. for us. Um, congratulations. I just, you know what, it's actually kind of exciting to lose because I've never really done it before. Well, now you have. Hi, yeah. Will. Hey, You Will. know, it's funny you mentioned that because I was thinking how last season on Tabletop, you won. I did win. I know, it was amazing, right? It was the most incredible win. This year, the winners get to keep the trophy. <gasps> What? No, I gotta keep my certificate. It was so great. I got it with a little red, with the crossed out champion of equestrian, whatever I was. I don't know. I want a trophy. Ashley Clements, it is my honor to present to you the Tabletop Trophy of Awesome! For cricket. That's exactly what it is, yes. Uh, let me engrave your name on it for you. Put it on my... You know, mind your hands. All right. There you go. That is for you. Would you like to make a victory speech? Oh, uh, yes. I, I would like to thank my parents for raising me right and teaching me to be honest, which is how I won this game. That's and right. for Will for believing me when I lied, even though I was being honest. 
I am not good at sussing out people who lie. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time on Tabletop, play more games. <laughs>